1863, there was an Emancipation Proclamation given that all slaves would be free, but that only covered the Confederate states. And so until the 13th Amendment came, then it covered all of the states, and so it was legally enforced. Juneteenth is really called the second Independence Day among African Americans. Uh, it was done in June, on June 19th of 1865. About 158 years later, people honor and celebrate the day of freedom and unity. 2,000 people came to Texas, who was this uh, eastern, the westernmost uh, state who were still dealing, dealing with slaves. They had over 250,000 slaves. So 2,000 of the Union men came and freed those slaves. According to research, Texas was the first state to make Juneteenth a holiday in 1980. It wasn't until June of 2021 when President Joe Biden signed the legislation that made Juneteenth a federal holiday. Juneteenth is an Independence Day for all Americans, not just for African Americans, because even though slavery was prevalent at that time, there were a lot of people held hostage uh, by being a uh, part of this and they did not want to be a part of it. They saw African Americans as human beings also. Here in Washita Parish, residents are celebrating and a few of them spoke out about what Juneteenth means to them. Want to tell our story, have our children to remember these stories. And that's why we celebrate Juneteenth. And um, this Saturday, we're going to have a parade. Every year we celebrate Juneteenth to celebrate that as our ancestors. So I'm, I'm enjoying the celebrating. I've been doing it for years and years now.